Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Enlarn Let's Play. Last time didn't go very well, mostly because of buzz cells. Which hopefully will not come back up today. It shouldn't, but... I didn't think there was going to be one yesterday, or the day before yesterday either. And we all know how that turned out. Can I use the number pad? Yeah, I can. Okay. And I'm trapped. I didn't realize I could use the number pad for this. I was using the uh, VI keys. I normally use VI keys, to be honest. It's easier for me because I usually play on a laptop. Uh, Orca short sword's probably not that good, but it might be better than my dagger. A uh, bit more damage, a lot less. <coughs> A lot less accuracy. I'll keep the dagger for right now. Dead end already. That's annoying. I don't remember if I pointed out where the actual cavern that we have to go for the plot is. Okay, yeah, my, for a second I thought I saw the mouse on the screen. Try not to do that. Pick up a corroded dagger, that's not very useful. A giant bat dies in one hit. A throne. I don't think I want to sit on that one. Sometimes the thrones are really good, sometimes they summon monsters and you die. That's how this game goes, though. Like I said, it is pretty unforgiving. Like, even compared to original Rogue and other older roguelikes, because Slarn is pretty damn old. Uh, another Orcish Dagger. But it is pretty old, but even compared to a lot of other old roguelikes, I find this one just particularly unforgiving. Uh, short Sword. That should be good. get a lot more damage for the cost of like one accuracy. It's worth it. And leather boots. And they're not cursed. Good. I was honestly expecting them to be cursed. Because, you know, that's how my luck goes normally. What'd you drop? Another orcish dagger. I do wonder why hobgoblins and such get orcish weapons all the time. Like, do they steal them or do they just find them left over on dead orcs or something? Cool. Plus two leather gloves. Not bad. And the stairs down. Good to know. Like I think I said before though, I... Is it... No. No, I don't want to do it gold. Never mind. Uh, silvery ring. Like I said before though, um, normally I like to do the first floor and then leave, and just sort of, you know, improve my equipment, identify any books that I find, like this one. Twelve pebbles and sapphire. I'm not sure how useful pebbles will be, but sapphires are always nice. Do you like how big they managed to make the floors with such a small viewport? Because this is, I think, what, 80 by 25 characters right now, probably? Uh, what happened to my sword? It broke. Okay. Do I have a better one? Or the spear would actually be pretty good. I think they break pretty easily, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, orcish stuff in general is just really shoddy. Why am I? Hmm. Yeah, let's kill that.
Ugh, excuse me. Haven't sneezed at all today until just now, of course. I don't know why I always have to like sneeze or cough or something during recording. Just always seems to be how this works out though. Yes, yes, you're the trading post. Identify my book. Uh, book of Healing. Good, good. That should help. Uh, yes, yeah, sell my pebbles. Sell that. Keep those. Sell, 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 sell. I'll keep the spear and the short sword because I'm sure the spear is going to break soon and the short sword will probably have to do as my backup. And I'll keep the dagger just in case. Uh, let's see, what do you have? I have 405 in the bank and I think I had 100 some odd in, in my inventory. Book of Magic Missile would be nice. I'm gonna buy a book of sleep now. Okay, now use the book of sleep and the book of healing. Okay. Book of sleep is probably one of my favorites. Just because of how useful it is. Being able to put things to sleep is hugely beneficial most of the time. It's not really worth doing on these guys, but you know. Uh, did I pick up a sword? Yeah. I'm just going to continue to ignore that throne. it's still probably not worth the risk. I showed off how poorly they can go last time. Let's get you back over here so I can... Damn it, my spear broke. Now would be a good time to show off sleep, I think. And the Jaculus is asleep. That is why sleep is useful. Oh, it's a door. And my sword broke. Of course it did. I'll equip this one. That one's definitely going to break very soon, but. Yeah, sleep is very good for catching running runaways too. A rust monster. Oh, yeah, the monster can't. I guess I'll fight you unarmed. Unarmed. So I'm pretty sure they would just ruin whatever weapon I hit them with. And this is, this is cursed. Of course it is. Oh well. Stop running away. This is another reason I really like the sleep spell. I don't like when they run away like that. Lots of doors on this floor. And it broke. Okay. I don't really mind that one breaking because it wasn't particularly useful. That was a uh, blind. Of course it was. Ring of energy, sapphire, and a scroll. Uh, oh, I can't read when I'm blind. That makes sense. I really don't want to dick around like that, though.
This is one of the annoying parts about having a time limit. Because I really don't want to stick around waiting for sass effects. Okay, well, our photos died. Yeah, I don't want to dick around waiting for status effects, but I guess I don't really have a choice right now. How long does this last? Or is it permanent? I can't remember if blindness is permanent in this. Uh, let's... Let's go back to town, actually. Okay, I wore off. Never mind. Well, I have some stuff to sell, so... I'll go back in town anyway. Oh, yeah, um, the actual plot dungeon is this one over here. This eye that I just highlighted. That's the plot dungeon. And it's quite a bit harder than the one that we've been playing around in. So, usually it's a good idea to play around in this one f over on the right first. Yeah, sell those. Um, I'm gonna pay to have these potions identified. And the scrolls. Um, don't really care about this shit. Equip that, sell it. Uh, Bless Potion, Treasure Finding, Enchant Armor, and Magic Mapping. Okay. Those should all be pretty handy, actually. Um, do you have anything useful for me? Ring of Strength would be nice, actually, but... Eh. The Lance of Death. That would also be nice, but there's no way in hell I can afford that. Yeah, I don't think I can really afford much. This thing might be nice. Actually, I wonder how quickly we'll die if we go in here. Yep. And yes, I fully expect to die here. Or, what are you? Yep. Not happening. No, 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 no. All of my nope. Yeah. <laughs> so, that is what the caverns of Warren are like. Lava and dragons. This is why we are playing around up here. because there are hobgoblins and orcs, which are much more manageable than lava and dragons. And I'm not wielding a weapon. Why is the button to... Uh, I'll worry about it off screen. can't remember the button to switch between primary and secondary weapon, which is kind of a problem. I think it might be comma? No. No, commas to pick shit up. Hmm. Apostrophe, maybe? I don't know. Armor, okay. Pretty sure the centipedes are toxic or poisonous or something. Venomous would be the right word. I can English sometimes. Uh, another ring of energy. Arrows and a scroll. Mucilaginous potion? The shit? Uh, I guess I don't know what it does. Okay, I'm gonna try this out. Nothing happens. Okay. Now I should mention that um, identifying scrolls and stuff 
Usually, if it's a beneficial one, identifying it will increase its value. But if it's detrimental, then you pretty much just wasted the money to identify it. Unless you can actually make use of it, of course. Blessed Potion of Holy Water. That's interesting. The large book. Huh. I should read that soon. Um, where do you think you're going, orc? This is a closed room. I had a spear, chainmail, and a dagger. I'm gonna put on that hood. And it's cursed. Do I have a remove curse on me by any chance? No, of course not. I'm gonna equip that spear there. Uh, chainmail. Okay. Even if it is cursed, that should be better than my leather, I think. And it's not cursed either. Okay, well, I should get out of here. I'm already burdened. But yeah, this game involves a lot of running back and forth to the shops. I don't really mind, but it might get boring for you guys. I don't know. Honestly, that's probably why there aren't many, uh... Uh... Ask for curse removal from my hood. Yeah, I'll donate 10 gold. That's fine. Okay, don't need arrows. Uh, I'll hold on to the leather because I don't actually know. I don't think it can be rusted. Cure blindness. Yeah, it's invisible. Hmm. But yeah, you see, I've paid 50 for it, and why am I pointing at the screen? And I can get 80 for it now. I'm going to sell another ring of energy, or both rings of energy rather, so let's orcish shit, and I'll keep those, and I'll identify that, okay, so the hood's not particularly good, but it's better than nothing I think. Actually, I should read that book while I'm here. Use. Do I have enough for this? Uh, I could commission a scroll, but... No, I don't think I should. I'll see if I have enough for the fighting. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, I should buy something. I can get three scrolls to identify for three for four hundred. That's not so bad. Kind of want a long sword though, plus twenty two damage. Eh. Yeah, it's not even that. Yeah, the longsword isn't even that expensive, really, and it's not heavy. So, I'm gonna get a longsword. That should actually go quite a long way towards... I forget, can I store stuff in the house? Yes, yes I can. Good. I'm gonna deposit this leather armor. And I'll keep the rest. I can't remember if that was only in Moria games. Uh, Moria games being Moria and the Angbands. 
But I know in those you can definitely store stuff in your house. But I couldn't remember if that was the case here. Okay. Well, this episode's probably going pretty long, actually. So I'll do a little bit more, but then I'm gonna have to cut it. This game does definitely have a very slow pace to it, though. Bring for generation. Good. It's a lot slower pace than. Uh, than say Rogue or even original Rogue was. I don't really care about pebbles, I don't even sell for much. Now that does the Arkish Dagger, but at least in a pinch I can use that as a backup weapon. Shit, my sword broke. Uh, actually. But yeah, at least in a pinch I can use an Arkish Dagger to actually kill things. For a short period of time. Um, a raggedy, a ragged book. Okay. That was the crate, never mind. For a second I thought that was armor up there, but it was the crate we just looted. I'm already burdened. I'll wait for the goblin to come to me. And my weapon broke. I'll use a shitty spear for the time being. Gemstone ring, sapphire, some more stuff. Bats are kind of erratic moving, like they are in most roguelikes. Nothing really interesting about them, though. Okay, I think that's probably enough for right now. So I'm just going to go back to town, sell some stuff, and cut the episode there. So I can hear the chair creaking. It's old and loud and annoying. I forgot to hit shift, that's why. I don't know why I always go to like one spot off from my destination. It's just a habit, I guess. Cure poison. Protection. Dexterity, that's pretty good. should read that book while I'm here. Oh, I didn't sell my gems. I'm pretty sure that's all they're good for, is selling. So that sword didn't last very long at all. It's kind of disappointing. Expand awareness. I think that increases my view range. I'm not sure though. Okay, well, I'm gonna cut it here. I might do some inventory stuff off screen, but that's gonna be it. See you guys next time. Bye!